In today's video, we are going to learn how to export individual tracks from Cubase 10.5 so other people who are working on the song or other mixers can import it into their digital audio workstation. This video is brought to you by GearForSale.com. Please subscribe to the channel. All right, everybody, we are inside of Cubase 10.5, and I have a drum track up. All right, and uh, we are going to export this drum track, uh, all individual tracks individually, so other people can import it into their digital audio workstation and add guitars or mix or whatever they want to do. So uh, very simply, we go up to the top of the timeline right here, and we just drag this to the beginning of the song, and we drag this side to the end of the song, all right? So we set those markers, cursors, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, and you, want, you want to go a little bit past the song. Uh, and then you want to go down here and make sure that you got everything, which we do. And then very simply, we go up to File. We go to Export, Audio Mix Down. All right, next thing you're going to do is click this button where it says Multiple Channel Export. All right, from here, we're going to, we're going to just select the channels that we want. All right. Um, now in this particular um, setup, I have bus channels. You can export the bus channels as well, but uh, I just want to send them the individual track. So here are the audio channels, and you can either click this button for all of them, or you can select the ones that you want. In this case, I'm just going to select the ones that I want because there are a couple I probably don't want. Um, room. Overhead left, overhead right. I don't want to send the track, okay? So up here is where you name it what you want. Um, I'm going to call this drums for export. And over here is where we're going to send it to. And let's go to, I'll put this on this drive and we'll create a new folder. Drums for export. And I'm going to call the file that and hit save. Next thing we want to do is we want to set the file type. Um, to be compatible with everyone, I would say let's go with Wave. Some people like AIFF, but I'm going to say let's go with Wave. Industry standard will be 44.1. Some people will, will work in 48. Um, if you work higher, that's up to you. But 44.1, uh, a lot of people will be at 16-bit, but I still would export it at 24 bit because that is the industry standard mono mono down mix we're going to leave unchecked uh, left right channels we're going to leave unchecked split channels we're going to leave unchecked leave all this the way it is real time export we're going to uncheck we want this just to go as quick as possible um, we do not want to create a new project we don't want to insert into the pool we are good so let's hit the export button and you'll see it is exporting right now all our files individually. All right, so that's exported. Let's hide Cubase, modified drums for export. Here we go. And I am going to create another folder inside here and call it Tempo 101. All right, this way they know what the tempo is. Now you will notice that all these tracks are the exact same size, and that's very good because we want them to be. We want them to line up when they import into another digital audio workstation. And just for fun, um, let us do that. Okay, and I am going to create a new song. All right, I'm going to 24 bit. I'm going to be at 44.1. Uh, I'm going to pick a location. And I'm going to call the folder import test, hit open, and hit create. All right, so now we have a blank song, okay? Um, I am going to change the tempo to 101, and I'm going to save it again. Here we go, blank song. Now we will go import 
audio. Okay. And we will go to backup SSD, drums for export. I will select all these tracks and I want to copy them into the session. Very important in Pro Tools, you want to either copy or import if, if uh, or convert rather if it's a different sample rate. But if you don't hit copy, what happens is it'll create the session and leave these files where they are and then you might get confused. So always, always copy the audio into this to the session audio folder of that of that uh, session all right here we go it done it's going to confirm yes I want to add it to the audio files you hit OK open and it's now bringing in all that audio we're going to put each one on a new track not into a, not just into the clip list it's creating all the tracks All right, and as you can see, the tracks have been imported. And if I hit play, you will see that it will, it will be in line. All right, so what you might wanna do is just pan everything to where they should be. Uh, you can re you could relabel these so they read better, like uh, kick in, you know, kick out, etc. You get the idea. All right, and let's take a listen. So again, if you were working now in Pro Tools, you have the exact same tracks that you had inside of Cubase and everything is lined up. Everything is uh, to the tempo and you'll see bar one is, you know, it starts on bar three actually. So if we go to, uh, we open up the session, we go right to bar three. That's bar three and bam. All right, hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, appreciate you subscribing to the channel. That's going to help us grow. And uh, please check out gearforsale.com when you get a moment. And also, please subscribe, hit that bell, and do whatever you can to uh, spread the word about gearforsale.com. It is an excellent website. It's a great place for you to sell any used gear that you want to get rid of. And it's also a great place to buy stuff. And if you're selling stuff on Gear for Sale, you do not pay a commission fee or a sales fee every time you sell something, unlike eBay and other websites. All right, again, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next video.